Hi everyone. I am R V Kiran, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today, I am going to discuss about the a small topic on introduction to drawing in the subject of engineering drawing. So, in this video lecture, we will learn about what is engineering drawing. In engineering, we have so many subjects having in first year that is introductory year of the btech but irrespective of the batch regulation and university one of the most common subject is engineering drawing nowadays it is also called as engineering graphics also so depending upon the university and subject they are changing the names that is engineering drawing or engineering graphics so drawing is basically an art of representation and engineering drawing means where the art of representation is used in technical field and based upon the requirements also so based on the requirement we use it to draw the representation of diagrams in various ways and engineering drawing is also considered as language of engineers first of all what is engineering drawing so engineering drawing is a type of technical drawing which is used to clearly define the requirements for engineered items such as views dimensions and necessary information more than drawing pictures it is also a language that to a graphical language that communicate ideas and information from one mind to another mind most important it communicates all the needed information from the engineers who design the past to worker who will make it so when we are designing the products or parts we are designing from the engineer and it is sent to the worker who are based on it so engineering drawing can be used in manufacturing of aerodynamics of automobiles and ships and constructions also we can use the engineering drawing next one is the effectiveness of drawing language so how can we absorb the momentum or how can we absorb the art of representation by using this drawing language here we are seeing the small example here so in the picture we are we are going to try a and write a description of the above picture which is on the right side top corner of this slide and there is a small test you written a description by having someone attempt to make a sketch from your description so you are going to give a description on the picture and someone some people have going to draw the picture as early as possible when you give this description so we can easily understand that the word languages are inadequate for describing the size shape and features completely as well as concisely that is precisely so there we are seeing the 3d object there so in the 3d object what are the external features and what is the size and shape of the picture so there we are seeing the different types of shapes there so first one is the circle shape we are seeing and other one is the some semi circular shapes also we are seeing there and next depending upon the sizes that is the outside diameter and the inside diameter of the hole and the thickness of the bounded one that is the bounded layer on the bottom and what are the features which is on the picture so we want to study these all things before going to drawing a picture 
next one is the composition of graphic language so these graphic language in, in engineering application used these lines to represent the surfaces edges and contours of objects that is the boundaries of the objects so we are using the multiple number of lines so different types of lines have been used in the engineering applications that is the dotted line axis line and border line different types of lines have been used there and this language is also known as the drawing and we can also call it as drafting also and this drawing can be done using freehand instruments or computer methods so different types of methods have been used for draw a drawing so engineering drawing has been done using different types that is freehand instruments or computer methods have been used in this graphic language earlier we have seen that engineering drawing is also known as the engineering graphics that is based upon the university and the syllabus the title of the subject can be changed that is engineering graphics or engineering drawing so first one is the freehand drawing so in this freehand drawing the lines are sketched without instruments using pencils and erasers so we are using only a pencil and a hand by the human that is oh, that are the only instruments no other instruments have been used in the freehand drawing so the example for the freehand drawing is seen below so there are multiple number of shapes and sizes but none have been described there so what is the outer diameter what is the inner diameter what is the circular shape of the these example so there are no one have been described there in the dimensional analysis so these lines and sketched are used by the pencils and erasers only so we, we are using only one pencil and only one eraser no dimensions have been used in the type of drawing that is freehand drawing so we are using only our hand by using the pencil so we are, this is known as the freehand drawing next one is the instrumental drawing so what is the difference between freehand drawing and instrument drawing or in the freehand drawing no other instruments have been used except the pencil and eraser but in the instrument drawing all the instruments are used to draw straight lines circles and curves concisely and accurately so we are using the accurate positions here so accurate dimensions have been used here so that is we are having when we are having a diameter of 20 mm we are taking only 20 mm not less than 20 that is 19 18 or 17 not higher than 20 that is 21 22 23 we are sharply or accurately taking the dimension as 20 mm diameter only so that is the accurateness in drawing the is using these instruments thus the drawings are used made to scale that is scaling is done in each drawing that is each principal drawing that is drawing a straight line or drawing a circle or drawing a curve or drawing some other thing so precise instruments have been used in the instrument drawing so the examples for the instrument drawing have been seen there in the pictures so on the left side picture we have seen a protractor using there and a pencil compass and a scalar using there so you know the use of protractor so when we have to have an angle in the drawing so when we are used to draw an angle so putting an angle in the dimensions we are using the protractor that is in the clockwise direction or the anti-clockwise direction next going to the compass used to draw these arcs that is the circle or semicircle or any other have been drawn in the by using the compass next one is the scale and scaling is done by the linear measurements only that is 
एम एम्स और सेंटीमीटर्स और एनी अदर थिंग मीटर्स किलोमीटर्स दट इज सो इन द रईट सैड ड्राइंग यू हेव सीन दि डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डैमेंशन हेयर सो थर्टी एट नाइनटीन एंड पाइस सो पै ईज द इंडिकेशन ऑफ दि डयाटर सो इन द इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग एज वेल एज दि अदर ड्राइंग्स आलो इन द अदर सब्जेक्ट्स आलो पै ईज यूज टू डिफाइन दि डयमेंशन ऑफ ए डयाटर so that is diameter have been indicated by pi and capital r is indicated as radius of the circle so the radius of the circle have been defined by the capital r so we have seen multiple number of r's here and multiple number of pi is here so the inner diameter outside diameter and the inner radius outside radius and these curves also have been indicated by the radius only so the outside curve and the inside curve has been also indicated by the r only that is capital r only so r 9.5 means radius of 9.5 so that is mm or centimeters so the dimensions have been indicated in the starting of the drawing so when we used to draw the all dimensions in the mm only we use it to take it in mm only so when we use it to take it all the dimensions in the centimeters we used to take it in centimeters only so no changing of dimensions or no changing of alterations of dimensions in the center of the drawing so when we use it to start it in mm the end of the diagram also in the mm only so these are the basic difference between the instrument drawing and the free hand drawing next one is the computer drawing so and last one of last mode of drawing is the computer drawing so these computer drawings are usually made by commercial softwares that is autocad solid works ansys ketia so these are all the mechanical softwares which is used to draw the 2d and 3d diagrams that is two dimensional and three dimensional diagrams so the difference between the two dimensional and three dimensional diagrams are in the two dimensional diagrams we use to draw, see the only one mode of view only that is only front view or side view only but in the 3d drawing we use to see all the views that is front view top view side view so in the right side picture we can see the 3d diagram that is a 3d diagram designed in the solid works so this is a layout of the building which is drawn in the <coughs> commercial software and left side one is also the example of computer drawing so which we can use in the ansys and other modes so these softwares are used for computer only so we are using and assuming it in the computer and the dimensions also are taken in the computer only which is used in the production purpose in industries so this is the basic difference between these drawings that is the free hand drawing and instrumental drawing and computer drawing so both these three are so all the, the all the three drawings are have been different for their purpose so in the free hand drawing we used to draw only with the pencil and free hand but in instrument drawing we used to take all the instrument with precise measurements but in the computer drawing we are using only the softwares so that is the autocad solid works ansys ketia so so many softwares are there for using the computer drawing so latest editions are the nx software and other softwares are also on the construction so next one is the introduction to engineering drawing so what is engineering drawing we have already discussed in the first uh, starting of this lecture so that is a type of technical drawing which is used to fully and clearly define the requirements of engineering items so we have using these different types of specifications here 
so all the specifications and requirements have been used fulfilly by the technical drawing only so in this technical drawing we are using the computer drawing as well as the instrumentation drawing that is instrument drawing also but going to the freehand drawing we cannot use it in the engineering drawing only it is used in the purpose or sample purpose only and it is usually created in the accordance with standardized conventions for layouts and nomenclatures interpretation and appearance size etc so these are all the standardized conventions which we are used in the technical drawing and the purpose of engineering drawing is to accurately and precisely capture all the geometric feature of a product or a component so the product or component to be designed <coughs> is from the engineer only so the engineer who designed the part to the worker which is used to make it so the worker work is to make the product only the make only the designed product only but the purpose of engineer or the work of a engineer is to design this product so we can use it by the design by either software or manual by using the instruments and the end goal of an engineering drawing is to convey all the required information that will allow a manufacturer to produce that component so we are using a manufacturer so that is when we have an example with the manufacturers we are seeing a bike companies that is royal enfield or honda hero so there are multiple number of companies there so they are used to design these parts separately so they are used to design the foilers and the silencers and the brakes and other clutches so these are all designed in the individual way and these are assembled in the assembly section only so that will allow the manufacturer to produce that component so drawing is the only convention for all the required information of an engineer to design the product next one is the purpose of an engineering drawing so what is the main purpose of engineering drawing so the main purpose of engineering drawing is not an illustration but it is also a specification of the size and shape of a part or assembly so we have earlier seen that assembly is combination of different parts so as in the earlier side we have discussed about the different types of parts in a bike that is the silencer brake clutch headlight tank so there are different types of components so these all are the parts and shapes of a parts and assembly is the combination of all the parts so this engineering drawing is not an illustration but it is also a specification of the size so which we are taking the shape of the part or assembly that is when we are seeing the tank of a bike so based upon the companies there are different size and shape of a tanks in each company so when going to the royal enfield it will be a size of capacity of 14 liters or 15 liters tank but when it comes to the bajaj or any other hero or honda it comes to 12 liters capacity or more than that so based on the capacity and based on the design the specification of the size and shape will change next one is the the most inform important information used on the drawing is the dimensions and tolerances of all its features so tolerances means what are the individual gaps in the basic fits so these basic fits and tolerances we can see in the metrology subject so that is in the third year of the mechanical engineering group but we are not seeing any tolerances and fits here only we are going the words only so the most important information on the drawing is the dimension and the tolerances so here we are taking only the dimensions of a project so left side one is the basic features of a product so that is in the three dimensional so with the three dimensional we are going to draw these 
required dimensional diagram which is on the right side so here we can see the dimensions that is the diameter and length of the the part which is on the left side of the part which is on the top view so the first one is the right side top one is the top view here and down one is the front view of that part and going to the first picture the second one is the the second picture is the illustration of assemblies sorry the illustration of different parts there which is not a assembly but first one is the assembly of the product so the right side dimensional views have been drawn with to the assembled part only not with the different types of parts there so the assembled part have been drawn in the top view and front view of an object or product so that is the purpose of engineering drawing next one is the elements of engineering drawing so these engineering drawing are made up of graphics language and word language so different types of graphics language have been used there and word language have been also used there so left side one is the product of a uh, so design of a product which is viewed in the three dimensional view so in the graphics language we are using the front uh, top view and front view of a product there in the seasonal chart of a engineering drawing so the basic chart of engineering drawing have been seen here and in the engineering chart we are going to draw the top view and front view of the given product in the three dimensional view and word language have been so first one is the graphics language so this describes the shapes so we are going to discuss the shape only that is in the circular one or square or rectangle or elliptical so that is the basic one so we are going to describe only a shape only in the graphics language and in the word language we are going to describe the size location and specification of the object so that is the size of the object that is the in the mm or centimeters that is the specifications that is the radius or diameter or any other one and location of the object that is the front view or top view so these are the basic differences in the elements of engineering drawing so the basic differences have been used there that is in the graphics language as well as the old language so in the graphics language we are going to describe only the shape of the designed object but in the word language we are going to discuss the size location and specifications of the object specifications means that in the that is in the graphics we are going to design the color and thickness and any other specification in the of the object but in the size we are going to discuss about the diameter and radius and length of the object next one is the basic knowledge for the drafting so this is the last slide in the introduction of engineering drawing so the uh, going this is upon the drafting so basic knowledge for the drafting in the earlier slide we uh, have seen that two types of language have been there first one is the graphic language and second one is the word language so in the graphics language there are line types and projection methods last one is the geometrical construction so the three parts are in the graphics language but in the word language there is only one type of specification that is the lettering so first going to the graphics language first one is the types of lines so based upon the purpose of drawing we are going to divide the line types so these line types have been studied in the 
next slide or the next video lecture where there we can see the detailed classification there but we are seeing some of the line types so first one is the basic line that is the broad line second one is the dotted line and third one is the axis line so based upon the purpose we are drawing different types of lines there and second one is the projections method so what is the different types of projections so that is the front view top view and side view and other projection methods so that is in the parallel or uh, perpendicular way last one is the geometrical construction of these graphics language so this is the geometric way where we can construct these product design and what are the basic features we are going to discuss in the geometric constructions so in the geometric constructions we are using the instrumentation drawing which are defined by the specifications of the design so the so whereas in the geometric construction the detailed parts have been explained here so what is the basic construction that is first of all what is the first step so based upon the question we are going to draw a line or draw a circle or draw an other thing so based upon that we are going to draw the second step so going when we have when we, when we are going to draw a, a example with an ellipse so that is by using the oblong method they are giving the major axis and minor axis first we are going to draw the major axis that is the length of the line is higher than the length of the minor axis so that is we are going to the first in the first step we are going to draw the major axis only next in the second step we are going to draw the minor axis and then we are going to construct these boundaries and get a rectangle so this oblong method is also known as the rectangle method also so we, we can see detailed in the ellipse methods and this construction have been developed from the rectangle only so by de dividing the major axis and minor axis into equal parts and the process is going on there and lastly we are obtaining an ellipse in a rectangle so this is the basic geometrical construction by using different specifications that is the length or curves so by using lens we are taking only mm only so all the dimensions are in mm only by into the word language it is basically on depends on the lettering only so based on lettering we are going to construct it so the specifications of the lettering have been done in the specified way that is in the we are going to take some dimensions in the lettering and we are going to draw the word language so graphics language is more important than the word language so this is the basic knowledge in the drafting so drafting is also known as the drawing also so in these the basic knowledge have been gathered from the graphics language as well as the word language so when we are going to draw a picture from the required question there so from the given question there we are going to memorize all these things so what is the type of line we are going to draw so what is the projection methods we are going to draw so what is the basic construction so what are the steps involved in the geometric construction of the specified method so these are all the things which is included in the graphics language only but in the word language only lettering have been done there so this is the basic differences of these two types so that is the basic knowledge for drafting so this is the last slide we are going to close it so on the last slide we have see the basic knowledge for the drafting that is for the drawing purpose so these are the basic introduction when we are going to introduce an engineering drawing subject so first of all and last of all again we are saying that engineering drawing is a type of technical drawing which is used to
clearly define the requirements for engineering items that is such as views dimensions and necessary information more than the drawing pictures it is also a graphical language so therefore we are saying it as the engineering graphics also